Glory, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. Today is the sixth day in the month of August 2017. Today is Sunday. I believe you will go to church. Hallelujah. Uh, Today I just want you to know that um, the Lord is with you and the Lord does not leave you. Neither does he ever forsake you. No matter what you are going through, God is with you. God is on your side. And God loves you with an everlasting love. Hallelujah. And so what I want to share with you today, uh, I call it the topic is unstoppable. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. I pray that the Father will give you the spirit of wisdom to understand his word in the name of Jesus. The Lord will touch you with mighty anointing. He will touch you with awesome mighty power that will make way where there seems to be no way. When the roads seem closed, God is going to open a new, better door for you. In the name of Jesus, where you are rejected, the Lord is going to come to your aid and make you to be accepted in a higher quarters. In the name of Jesus, it is done. This is Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Prevailing Church, Bethlehem, South Africa. I'm here with the gospel of Jesus Christ to strengthen and to encourage you. Hallelujah. And so this morning, I am talking on the topic, you are unstoppable, you are unstoppable. You see, let me tell you something. If you have not given your life to Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then this message may not have any meaning to you. Because I'm addressing this message to those who have given their lives to Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And you see, good news, if you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus as your Lord, you can do that right now. You can do that right here. Hallelujah. God is willing and is happy to accept you into the family. You see, the family of God is the greatest family in the universe. And to become a member of that family is very simple. All you need to do is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Just turn to the Lord and say, Lord, I accept Jesus. You see, once you accept Jesus, your sins will be blotted out. You will be forgiven. God is going to forget your sin and he's going to, you know, love you, and Jesus is going to come with the Holy Spirit to begin to dwell on the inside of you. And once you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, God is going to impart unto you his own righteousness. You will not just be righteous, you will now become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When God sees you, when he looks at you, he does not see you as you that you are. He's going to see the blood of Jesus and he's going to see you righteous. That is why the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. When you, you know, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, from thenceforth, you are not condemned. God does not condemn you anymore. As long as you are walking in the spirit, you know, obeying the, you know, following the word of God and becoming, you know, a a vital member of the body of Christ. You are not condemned. Hallelujah. Then the second thing that is going to God is going to give you eternal life, the life of God. He's going to give you the life of God. Hallelujah. He's going to give you his life, the Zoe, the God kind of life. He's going to transform you from ordinary human being to a God-filled human being. Hallelujah. When you give your life to Jesus, the possibilities are endless. Hallelujah. I'm not one of those preachers that is going to assure you that once you give your life to Jesus, you will never have problem in your life. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not one of those that tell you that you will never have problem. Everybody have problem. But one thing I'm going to tell you that you will overcome in every problem. You will win in every adversity. You will win in every situation. You will always succeed. You will never fail. I can guarantee you. There will be problems, but you will surmount those problems. There may be challenges, but you will win over those challenges. There may be difficulties, but God will empower you to overcome those difficulties. You understand what I'm saying? So that is what I can guarantee you. But the Bible says, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you pass through the fire, the fire will not burn you. Why? Because I am going to be with you. I'm always with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is the guarantee of your success. But that you won't have problem. You may have problem, but you will overcome that problem. That much I know in the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So today, I am talking to those who have given their lives to Jesus. I want you to know that once you do that, 
and you have the spirit of God, you become unstoppable. You can do what you set out to do. You can do what you desire to do. And the almighty God is going to give you victory over every situation and every problem. Today is Sunday. This is where I'm going to stop. Thank you for listening. I want you to go to church. Be, uh, uh, you know, go and celebrate Jesus. Go and serve the Lord. Go and let the Lord bless you today. Join other believers. Uh, if you are in Bethlehem area, I want to invite you to our church, the prevailing church, located at Kodisong, Kretch. You know, the pre-primary school. Come, let's celebrate Jesus together. And I know God is going to bless you. Thank you for listening. Anywhere you are around the world, locate a living church, go to church, go and serve the Lord. And I know God is going to bless you. This is Joseph Adenunga signing out and saying, be blessed and remain blessed.